What do you think of when you hear the name Genshin Impact? Gotcha? Controversy? Or even murder? Today, we'll be exploring one of Genshin's most disturbing and earliest myth. So sit back and relax as I walk you through Genshin Impact's most horrifying myth. The story of Adeland. The early days of Genshin Impact. Back when we only had two nations to explore, Mondstadt and Liwei. Many travelers, like myself, are nostalgic for these first two regions, especially compared to other modern nations like Natlan or Inazuma. However, this simplicity, the emptiness of the world, especially Mondstadt, can almost be eerie at times. Where did all the people go? Is there a real reason behind this? Yes, there is. Adeland, the head maid at Diluc's Manor. Most people won't even recognize her, and those who do might just think that she's another unassuming NPC with boring, filler dialogue. However, for this NPC, this couldn't be further from the truth. What's so different about her from all the rest? Well, the answer is simple. She's a cannon. But wait, Genshin Impact might have dark undertones featured in many of its stories, but this just seems off. A cannibal that also lives in Diluc's manor? Why? Surely this is just a baseless fan rumor with no real substance behind any of it, right? Well, sorry to disappoint, but no, it's not. Let's go ahead now and take a deeper look into all of this, to the origin of the rumor. Moko and Hilly. These are the two other maids who work alongside Adeland in Diluc's Manor, and it seems after working with her for a while, they began to notice that guests would begin to disappear without a trace. On one instance, Hilly was so baffled by another guest's disappearance that you can actually find her gossiping to Moko about it. No way. So that guest really, totally, not so loud. I was on duty that morning, and it seemed like no one had left. But I cleaned all the guest rooms on the second floor, and guess what I noticed? All the rooms were empty. No. Friggin'. Way. That's so creepy. So what happened then? Then I asked Adelind. Like hey, what happened to the guest who arrived last night? Interesting. After noticing the guest's disappearance, Hilly went to go ask Adeline about it. Curious about where they went, and instead of giving a normal response, she said this. She totally ignored me. She was just like, watering the flowers in the garden and talking to herself. What was she saying? She was all like, next year when these flowers are in season, they will look gorgeous. She didn't respond. Instead, it seems she was trapped in her own world. Is all this really coincidental though? A disappearing guest, followed by a freshly planted bed of flowers while Adeline continues to act strange. Surely there's a better explanation for this than Adeline being a murderer. Well, there might just be. Instead of listening to those rumors that Hilly and Moko talk about, we can actually ask Adeline directly about the gossip that they have been spreading. Was it Moko and Hilly you heard that from? Sounds like they've been telling tall tales to the guests again. Don't take them too seriously. Nothing they tell you is worth paying too much attention to. Did you really think there could be quite so much drama? You're overthinking things, that's just nonsense. Ah, yes. How's your appetite been recently? I made some extra steaks today. If you're not picky, please take them. Like I said, don't overthink it. These are perfectly normal animal steaks. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Wait a minute. On the same day we talked to Moko and Hilly about these rumors, Adeline tries to play them off jokingly, and then offers us 
perfectly normal animal stakes. The disappearance of one of their guests was already suspicious enough, but the fact that she's now offering us these not so normal, normal stakes, it can't just be a coincidence, right? Unfortunately, this isn't where the story ends. Moko and Hilly continue to gossip. This time, it's about a secret room. Do you know what? No, what? We have one less key than Adline. Does that mean, there's a secret room, right? You got it, and so this one time, when I was waxing the floors, I noticed that right down the far end of the corridor on the second floor, there's a hidden room. Really? So that's really the room that... Well... I crept up to the door and as soon as I got close, I heard this... Sound getting closer and closer. I was like, so scared, and then just as I was about to run away... Adline was behind me. Yikes. The weirdest thing is that she didn't even tell me off, instead, she was all polite and asked me nicely to go back to my room. But when I got back to my room, that's when I realized that thudding sound... It was exactly like how Adeline's boots sound when she walks. It's seeming as though there's a secret room inside of Diluc's manor, a room that only Adeline has access to. And what's even stranger is that she doesn't want anyone else near this room, especially considering right when Hilly walked up to it, Adeline appeared to usher her away quickly. Based on everything we now know, it would seem that this is where Adeline seems to do her work. I think after piecing together everything we know now, we can put together everything and understand the full story. After Moko and Hilly finish waiting on their guest for the night, they both retire to their rooms. At this point, Adeline is already waiting to strike. When the prime opportunity arises, she sneaks into her guest's room while they are fast asleep, and quickly knocks them out with a small tap on the head. After this, she takes them down to her secret room and finishes the job. She does this to make the cleanup easier and less stressful, while also keeping out any prying eyes from intruding on her work. After her victim is not of this world anymore, she butchers the body into different sections of meat storing them for later use. Now, left with the rest of the remains, she buries them in the garden, but to make sure no one notices the risen dirt, she plants fresh flowers over them, avoiding any detection. Now that the job is complete, she can enjoy her newly acquired bounty. But she doesn't just stop there. She makes sure everyone can enjoy her bounty, and offers it to others under the guise of having made too much food. A friendly gesture on the surface, a disturbing pleasure satisfied within her. That is the true story behind Adeland, Genshin Impact's most disturbing myth and NPC.